Alright everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video. On today's video we are back with episode number 16 of the Outer Worlds playthrough. We are once again right where we left off last episode. I'm not taking up any off-camera uh, exploring in this Stella Bay area. Obviously a completely new area though. And our current goal is just to go around and pick some quests up. We've already done a bit of that already. We came this way, I believe, coming from the front door. If I'm not mistaken, at least that is. I think I may be mistaken because I do not recognize this area. Um... Yeah, I haven't been in the yacht club. No, I actually I have been in here. Yes, I have been in here. This is where we met uh, Miss Nika, who's over there. We came this way. That's the one. What doing on other so we went over there. Um, I believe then we went the to my left. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I was just double checking where I've been. We went over that way, found, stole some stuff, and that's where we are at the moment. Um, with that said, please do make sure to leave a like on this video if you find anything about it enjoyable. Also make sure to come check out my Twitch stream, link's description down below, and the subscription button is down there as well. We upload here every day. If that interests you, please do hit the subscription button, check out the Twitch stream if any of that stuff appeals to you at all. Uh, I'm always doing something online, essentially, and uh, I'd love to see you guys there. Also, this will be the first video after I start the new series on the channel of whatever game I choose to play. Um, if that's it, whatever, however that video does, I'm still going to ask this question. I'll ask for suggestions of what game you guys want to see next. If that first video that I choose or whatever gets suggested in other videos before this happens to not do too well, I will take up the suggestions in this video depending on what the statistics end up being. Um, mostly I'll probably stick it out. I'm thinking, actually now that I'm thinking, I, Guardians of the Galaxy is what I suggested, but I also wouldn't mind doing some Resident Evil 7 or 8. I'd be happy to play through both of them actually, if that ends up being the case. Uh, I've tried to play through Resident Evil 7 on two different channels, not this one though. Um, but seems so I'm actually committed to finishing playthroughs on this channel specifically. Um, I will actually be able to finish Resident Evil 7 for once, which is something I would like to do. Now I think about it, so that's definitely on my agenda for some time soon. Um, and it's a horror game, so I can turn my face cam on and I can get jump scared, I don't know. But let me know what you want to see. Otherwise, um, yeah, with that said, let's stop running in circles and let's get a move on somewhere productive. We have this place here. Someone's been killed. What? Hello? I think I'm gonna be sick. You right? No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, lower one on the right. So, that sounds like I'm going to go into the lower one on the right. Oh! Oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. A murder? Hey, is this the part where we go hunting for clues? I think it is. Let's do it. I'm down for a mystery so some mystery solving. We got a laptop here. That's a clue. Is it enough though? Okay, that's the end there's only two clues there. Investigate the left field tossable le left field tossable bedding out. I'd say it's the only thing in here that's important, to be honest. Do you have a name? Oh, I can talk to you. Okay, hold on. You startle me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. I'll go. Okay, that is the most useless conversation ever. Beautiful. Is she tall or am I just tweaking? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's over this way. Hey, I saw that. Uh, who are you, bro? Just don't make any I can just lie my way out of every conversation. <laughs> it's pretty useful, honestly. Light assault rifle mark two. That does a lot of damage. I'm gonna take that. Thank you very much. There's no way that is just your average assault rifle mark two. It just jacks it up from 213 to fucking 576. Let me pull this thing out. Look at it. Really? Huh? Fair enough. <laughs> this weapon I have at the moment will do for now, but still. Alright, so I was coming this way and then that dude interfered, so we still haven't checked out this place. Uh, vending machine. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Resident. This guy's got a name. Doesn't. Well, that dude's just depressed. Won't talk to him. 
Um, anything tucked up here. Some energy cells. I won't complain about that. It's ammo for this gun right here. And that is not a door outside. Yes, it is a door outside, but... It's not like a... A door that requires you to sit through a loading screen, which is what I thought it was. Vortex Mace doesn't sound bad, but... I don't think it's good either. I'm just gonna drop down. Alrighty, so we have this, which is a way out, not where I'm trying to go just yet. Want to do the full circle before I do anything else. Um, these are two residents that don't bring anything else additional to the table. Nothing over there. The next interesting place I see is there, but I'd like to wrap this corner first. There you go, this is like a little tuck away. What is this? Yeah, I think we go up here first. Oh, hold on, I saw that. Never know when I could use that spare bypass shunt, so I might as well look. What does this take me to? Anything useful? No, there's literally no purpose to it. Magnificent. Just jump off. Why am I in stealth? Oh, hold on. Is this gotten me into like some secret area? What is this? Oh, yeah. Plasma carbine. Absolutely have no need of that. And. Yeah, okay, that was absolutely not worth it. Fair enough. My apologies for that. That was really not worth the time <laughs> that I that I took getting to it, I suppose. Sneak down there. Alrighty. We still do have this, like, tuck away, though, whatever this. Nah, it's just a corner. What's this place? A knock you out bar. Thank you. Is it just like a data room that probably will have some sort of relevance later on in the game, but for now, nothing. Uh, yeah. This looks like a shop. Nell. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest Tossball games. So who this do you is a mission, actually. Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Aren't they just? When I get to worrying about the marauders outside, the raptodons chewing at the walls, I just turn my transceiver up to drown it all out. Most of the time it's static on account of the frequency being clogged up, but sometimes it's toss ball. You get to listen to games all day? Stellar Bay really is a paradise. It's pretty swell, but it's a whole lot better with company. Say, I don't think I've seen you before, and I'd remember that face. I'll try not to be a stranger then. My name's Felix, by the way. Um, listen quietly. Yeah, I won't. Uh, I won't interfere. You should stop by more often. The games are always better when you've got someone to celebrate with. Sounds like a good time. I wouldn't mind bringing a couple drinks and settling in for the pennant match. Look at me getting carried away again. So, what can I do for you? Found this bedding slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Uh, yeah. Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. They were pretty distinct. Monarch doesn't exactly have a thriving dental industry, and Isaac seemed to get stuck in all sorts of bad habits, dietary and otherwise. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader, other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. Who did he owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Um, thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Fair enough, thank you for that. Um, that leaves us with whatever this place is next. It looks like the top floor of a area that you can access from below. There should be a staircase in here too. I don't have hack 50 just yet, I am very close to hack 50, but 
do not have hack 50 as of right now unfortunately which is bad but not much I can do there uh, that's a free pick there I don't need to I don't mind stealing this junk uh, maybe I do have hack 50 I just haven't had my drugs I feel like that was the worst thing I could have picked up if Velma's capable of running the warehouse she they pick up her own cathanoid don't be so hard on her with Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like, hmm? Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? I've uh, been asked to pick up a calf and eat something. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Who's your lucky friend, dearie? Uh, actually the pills are for me. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we- Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little- Extra. Can't trust people these days, man. Except for you. I can tell. You've got one of those faces. I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there... Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you Must be some way um, I can increase her. Well, I'm note. afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Uh, I thought you were in charge around here, aren't you sure? Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll, eventually. Um, I guess I'll have to figure this out on my own. Chin. Well, I mean, I already lockpicked this fucking place, so... <laughs> what do I need to take from in here? The coffee. Caffeinoid, sorry. There you go. Taxed. 21,000 XP. That's a fair bit. I wonder if she notices. Come to share a secret no, she does not. Okay. Well, yeah, I've already been through that building thoroughly, I'd say. I haven't been down this strip yet. This is the final strip. Velma seem out of sorts to you? It's always cranky. No, I mean... Wouldn't, wouldn't mind smelling like... What the hell is this? The break room? Looks like it. Guessing this is Velma that they keep talking about? Yeah. A ladder to the middle of nowhere. A workbench. Okay. A bin with nothing in it. And a door that goes to... I was about to say, is this outside the damn map? It is, technically, but it's like a condensed area still. With stuff for me to steal though, of course. Uh, I just found something towards a quest. I didn't mean to do that. Stella Bay Ruins, uh, Bloody Note. I don't even know what I'm progressing anymore, honestly. I'm just picking stuff up that I happen to stumble across. Let's talk to this Velma lady. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, alright? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Uh, so, take it easy, I'm just looking around. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. 
Uh, <laughs> what's that about your foreman? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Um, why don't you just pay them more? Surely you can make them come back. Uh, I can talk to them. Do you him. mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Oclev. He's usually there. Uh, you're up. I don't need to delay any further. Right, do. Um, alright. So. How is our journal looking at the moment? Definitely getting there. <laughs> Quests everywhere. The Yacht Club. Don't think I've even been in there yet. I don't know what this place is. Oh, that's the, uh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's the back door of that bar that I went into. No, sorry, that's the back door of that. Yeah, yeah. So that leaves me with the area done, I think. Yeah, I think we're done. Alright, well, I should probably start. Alright, we got her caffeinoid, so let's talk to her. Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business. All of the above? Got your magic pills? These things are dangerous, you know. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it here. Ooh, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh... Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. I've got a ship at the docking bay if you want to wait there. Felix, wait on the ship. Yeah, Felix. A real big game hunter. You gotta give me some pointers. Ooh, beautiful. Um, yeah, the drugs are definitely negatively affecting me. There is the persuasion that I was talking about. Anarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortune. Alright, uh, well that's quest number one. Convince Caleb to return to work. This is quest number two. What you can shoot and what you to so run this from. is the yacht club. He's just upstairs. I don't think I've even been up here yet. So. Alright, let's try to convince the lad. New face, huh? You from Offworld? Uh, Captain Corvus of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Um, how long can you afford to miss work? Any suggestions for how to put pressure on Belmont? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. I never meant to call for anyone's head on a pike. Velma's not my favorite person, but she ain't been cruel to us. Devil it all. Now you got me feeling sorry for her. Fine. I guess we'll go back to work to save Velma's job. We'll find a better time to negotiate our wages. Tell Velma not to worry. We'll look out for her. There you go. Alright. Coolio. Get that one done. I don't know where that word just came from. Coolio. Come on, man. Investigate Elijah and his gang. Is that inside, outside? That looks like a door to the outside. 
if I'm not mistaken. What was it like in no, it's a, it's a back alley. Hey, the on the clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. My condolences. I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person. What do you think? Uh, nothing. I don't want any trouble out of you. Why is that guy friendly Who if he's a thug? This ain't your alley. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. I found your tossable stick. This is going to catch up with you, Elijah. How? That was supposed to go out with the next batch of salt tuna. What are you suggesting, pal? You believe people long enough. If you know what's good for you, you'll clear out and never come back. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine. We're going. This ain't worth it. Alright, we'll finish this quest while I'm at it. We'll go till Senja. Push those dudes out. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll quickly go stop in here while I'm... Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nioka. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? But that's terrible. What happened? I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them eventually. Um, of course. Of course I would have. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Well, thank you. I have questions. I met Grim. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? You did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Um, I gotta go. And uh, that's about all I needed to touch on there. I'm not here to do the main quest, so I'm trying to get me to do it. Amber Heights haven't been there yet. Check with Celia. That is. Okay, that quest does still exist. Here we go. Celia. Greetings. And welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Now, what was the exchange about? You having Grim asked me to check with you about his Tossable poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But... I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Elia, I have heard you say you're having money trouble. Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self, and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on a on acid. Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Um, if you got that many bits to spend, then I've got some trash to sell <laughs> you too. So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff, and some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Alright, I can talk to him for you, I suppose. Uh, speak with Velma. Why 
Why is this a task? You ever been yeah, I'll talk to him. Before you met the captain, I mean. Good day, champ. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen. But I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. I must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Manipillers ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands. Traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rap glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. Um, why would I want? Let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. She considered going on a date with her. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount. Hmm. Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smoot? Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. Oh. You're right. Um, alright, back to her. Give her the good news. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? He said he'd go on a date with you. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. Too easy. Um, alright, let's cross that one off. Yeah, I don't know why that was a task. Alright, uh, speak. Alright, so I need to talk to Velma for two different things. Sorry, that's the wrong button. Uh, let's equip that, and then back to her, I suppose. Yeah, not, not many, too many detailed side quests. I don't think just side quests I suppose uh, I'd say like the chunk of the main ones coming out will begin in the next episode I'd assume you're a lifesaver hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time just the usual any word on Braxton nothing you don't know how much longer I can cover for him either give me those pills will you here you go you know you might consider a real night's sleep instead I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. We're spatting your spirits, Velma. You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be seeing triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Will you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades old equipment and see what it does for your disposition? Anyway, what do you folks need? Tell me about the... I'm here to ask about Grimm's... I'll ask this. This seems like Braxton. another quest. I kind of just He's in charge of getting it. the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Um, he'll come back eventually. You can't constrain a person's freedom. I can't keep working double shifts either. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself... Maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on... Uh, Grimm's posters. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. 
So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Um, you're just giving Grim's poster away. Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Uh, surely we can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Uh, work with me. I'm helping you find Braxton, aren't I? Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. Okay. Let's talk about someone else. Fine by. Uh, Caleb. You knocked any sense into him yet? I did. I told him you were about to lose your job. He said he'd come back. Well, that's awful nice of him. Sure wouldn't have expected that. Thanks for your help. You've gotten me out of a tight spot here. Take this for your efforts. Honest work deserves honest pay. Sure can. Uh, all right. Bye. Looks like I can't get the poster until I sort out that other level 16 already. Okay. Yeah, see, the whole drug thing is terrible. Like, it goes down so fast by the looks of it. It's just not even worth the what I decided to put it into anyway. Let's get that to a hundred. It already is at a hundred with um Felix on my team, but it seems like he's not here then. And then I think we just start dumping more points into range, I suppose. Yeah, that'll do. Perks, alright, here we have when you're at low health you deal increased damage, headshots kill headshot kills explode. Uh that sounds useful. When you use the inhaler, any down companions are revived with a small amount of health, that sounds absolutely useful. Um, that is what I'll take first, being able to revive companions. I don't see that as a negative at all. With that said, though, that's where I'm going to leave this video off. Thank you guys for checking this video out. If you did end up enjoying it, please do make sure you like, drop sub notification bell. Also, make sure to come check out my Twitch stream. Link's description down below. I'd love to see you guys there. And that's all I have to say. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.